All right, what up, peeps? This is unscripted, but uh, I actually want to talk about something. The topic I want to talk about is crafting or rather building your offense as a Miguel player. So one of the things I've noticed playing Miguel online and offline ever since Tekken 6, not ever since Tekken 6, but I first got competitive really on this game to where I first started, you know, worrying about frames and all that. But, um, one of the things I've noticed is that Miguel's weak points, obviously you know it's his range. It's pretty bad. Um, his moves don't have as much tracking as other characters, stuff like that. I mean, there's little tic tac -y things here and there, his arm length. But one of the, the two biggest things is his um, how steppable he is and how vulnerable he is to ducking. So typically for a Miguel player, when they come in, they'll notice that, hey, a lot of my stuff can, a lot of my stuff, um, you know, it whiffs, right? So if you step to Miguel's right, yeah, let's do that. If you step to Miguel's right or walk to his right, then a lot of his stuff whiffs. Oh no, wait, actually to Miguel's, if you step to the left, to Miguel's right. So <laughs> let me, if you step left against Miguel, then a lot of his stuff whiffs, right? See, and this is just okay. At least that hits, but that's that's too slow. No one's gonna do that in a real game. Let's see what else. See that, and also the down forward series, which is very important. This series, which is very important. Really, this, that, that, and this. This is most important things. So if literally all of those things whiff then that's not good, right? Right? Um, so the thing is that that's not really a problem for Miguel as much as it is for ducking. Let me explain why. Because ever since Tekken 6, as you know, he has better tools, right? So I can do this, bam, then bam, right? Bam. Bam, bam, and this is guaranteed. If I delay it, as you've seen my previous video, then I can launch him, right? But, um, so it's not really a problem, and it's safe, and it's fast. So if you catch somebody who's stepping often, then you just gotta throw that out. But if they also step and then they duck and they play like unpredictable like that, then you have four, four. Which is good, which is good, because if you know they're gonna step, and it's mid and it tracks. I mean, it's mid and it tracks, so that's a good option too. And yeah, it's not hit confirmable, but a lot of times when you throw it out, you can, since it's so slow, as it's coming out, you can kind of see what your opponent is doing. Are they attacking? Are they offensive? You know, then you can kind of predict, like, oh, it's about to hit them, so I'll go ahead and finish it out. And even if you don't finish it out, what is it? Let me put on Tekken Bot Prime real fast. Uh, I believe it's minus 13. Damn it, let me take that off. Uh, guard all, yeah. Minus 12, if this thing is right. Yeah, it's only minus 12. So, um, it's not that. It's not that risky, really, to be honest with you. So, um, it's not a problem. It's not a problem to do that. Like I said, uh, let me put that back on. If they sidewalk left. Yeah, so if you do that, boom, boom. Then you can kind of tell if they if they also duck. And that's a really good move because on a surface, it's not really a good move, but it kind of disrupts their rhythm and it's, you know, floors them pretty much. And it leaves Miguel in a, a good space, you know, to do Oki, right? So I can just approach him and then do more stuff, right? So his sidestep options aren't bad. They're not bad. And if I want something safer, then I can just do a, a single down forward four. To his, well, Miguel has a good sidestep, but for other characters who don't have as good of a sidestep as Miguel, this will catch. It'll catch him, All right, like there. But yeah. 
I mean, and you know, he has some stuff, right? So, yeah. But the biggest thing, see, that's what I'm saying, that when you sidestep Miguel, that's not his biggest problem. His biggest problem is when you duck Miguel. That's a huge, that's a huge problem for Miguel players. People who know how to play against Miguel, they'll often duck because his most important string, this, this string, can be crushed with ducking. You know what I mean? Because the worst thing, the, the thing opponents don't want to be hit by is this second hit right here. Because out of that, Miguel can enter his entire offense through this second hit. So that's kind of the purpose of this video, really, is to tell you about how to to build your offense to where you can have them standing in order for this second punch to impact. Whether they get hit by it or whether they block by it. Because let me tell you something. Like I said, out of this, he can do anything. Not only can I do all of my sav stuff, but I can do, um, let me see here. Guard all, stand. Not only can I do all of my sav stuff, it's natural. I'm plus five and I have access to everything to where I don't even have to go into sav. I'm plus five at range zero in savage stance. So this is the worst position an opponent can be. Like the worst. This is everything Miguel's known for, or everything scary about Miguel, this culminates in getting hit by the second left punch to this down for one one. Because like I said, I can do anything, bam, bam. You know, um, plus five, this is 14 frames, so that's uninterruptible. So I can go, huh, 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 you know, if they try and attack. Um, not only can I do it, I can do frame traps. If they block that, I can do this. If they try and punch afterwards, I can do that, right? And they'll go under the it'll go under a, a, a 10 frame punch. But and if that wasn't enough, then I can complete my strings. He's also this string is also inf, you know infamous for Miguel because I can do so many things out of it. Bam. Bam, especially in Tekken 7, to where this now floors, then I can go like that, right? I didn't get it that time. Damn it. Let me do one more time. There you go. But yeah. So there's just so many options. This is great for rounded and stuff like that. But once good op opponents play Miguel, then um, they, they often duck, and this is a problem that you have to fix. This is a part of crafting his offense. So let me see here. Um, crouching guard. Yeah, crouching guard. Stand. Standing guard and crouching guard. So once opponents duck Miguel, then his offense becomes very limited. It just guts his offense, for instance. Imagine if I'm just doing my downfall one series. Boom. That's a launch. That's an attack. These things come out too slow for me to rely on them. See what I'm saying? So at that point, the guy can just launch me, you know? Uh, I can't do this string. That's also a launch. And this isn't fast enough to to be relied on to counter hit him. Um, not only if I'm just going through my regular offense, I do this. This string, very important. I would say these, these three strings are the most important one, Miguel. This, this, and that. Because out of that, Miguel can just uh, pile on damage because they're so plus on hit. So bam, bam, and then bam, right? But um, think about it. I do this. I can't do that. Can't do this. And if I'm, because normally people don't start off with, a, especially for Miguel, because his arms are so <laughs> short. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then I can't start out doing that. I can't just go in and then go like that. Because I don't have the range, right? I'll try and do like that, or even this has really this has pretty good range, you know. See from one, I would say, or a little bit beyond that, then it can still hit. So chances are I'm gonna start off my offense with doing this. So if I if I want to do my uh, one two, then I'm gonna start off with going like this, huh, huh, huh. See, but if the opponent is duck happy, then I can't even do that. So not only can I not not only can I not do this, that, this. Again, I'm not gonna start off doing this because the range isn't good. 
So I'm gonna start off with checking with a down for one. So I can't do that, and I can't do this. See what I'm saying? So I have to prevent this opponent from ducking. That's my goal. So usually when I'm playing, and this is typically for people who are, who know how to play against Miguel, this is what they do. They'll mix in ducks in their off in their defense, or they'll just they'll be very prone or inclined to duck, which will make you whiff a lot of things. So how I do it is that when I'm first starting a match, and obviously if you're just doing your um, if you're doing your bread and butter, if you're running automatic, then you're just gonna be playing. And then you're gonna start noticing stuff like that. Boom. Oh, I didn't even mention that move either. You can't even do this because I have to get into Sav, right? Because typically, huh, huh, huh. See that? I can't do that move either. And this move is plus six, I believe. This move is plus six on hit. And so that leads into a lot of things. And that's natural as well. So I can go, huh, huh. But if I can't even hit him with that because he's ducking, then it just, see, see what I mean? So I, I really can't do anything as a Miguel player right, if this opponent is comfortable ducking. So I have to make him uncomfortable ducking. So what I do, like I said, when I play a good opponent is uh, usually I'll just do single down for ones. If I don't already notice he's ducking, then I'll just do single down for ones. Or if I notice he is, yeah, then I'll just go, huh, huh. This is very important just to be able to do that. See that? When I do that, then he's just going to keep collecting damage and he's going to teach him not to duck. Of course, you can just do it twice. Side step. Go, when you go back out. And when you're in, do it again. Do it again. If they start to realize you do this, because this is minus two on block, as you can see, or you can't see the app, but I can see it. This is minus two on block, so they'll just, they'll just attack you, right? They'll just uh, counter hit you. And I'm trying to think, should I put this guy, should I make this guy uh, do the attacks? Yeah, let me do that. Let's do repeat action. Let's go to move list. Let's go, uh, let's do that one for that. Let's do this one. And let's just do a single down for one. Yeah. So. Like I said. Um, like I said, good opponents, they'll they'll be willing to duck you. But um mm, Let's see. All right, scratch all that, scratch all that, scratch all that. Scratch all that. Let's go stand, guard, and crouching guard. So yeah, like I said, like I said, keep doing that. And so opponents, you know, obviously this is minus two, so it's interruptible. So they can just jab, jab me out of it. So our sidestep, really. So that's not foolproof, but it's foolproof when they're looking for a duck after this. So like I said, keep doing that, keep doing that. And yeah, let me talk about that. So uh, like I said, people who are better defensively, they're gonna see that you do that, or they're not gonna respect you if they see that you're not, if you're too scared to complete this, cause you, they know that you know that they can duck it. If you're too scared to complete this, then they'll just keep attacking after blocking one of this. Do an arm remove, do a launcher, and then you'll get blown up after, for trying to do another one. So then what you do, it's just, you know, just like a chess match. What you do is, and this is where this becomes very important. Because if they, if they try to interrupt with a um, with a jab, boom, hit him every time. Boom, hit him every time. And this actually does a lot of damage, really. Forgot how much it does. Let me take him off that. Yeah, 30, 30 damage. You hit him with two of that, that's 60, that's 60 damage. That's as much as a combo. You can steal rounds with this move, especially on Rage. So this is the move that kind of disrupts their defense. Because like I said, uh, if they've already solved this, and they've solved this by interrupting me after that, and they don't respect 
you don't they don't respect your options after a single down for one then keep mixing that in boom 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 and so you just have to mix between huh and huh huh and what these two key moves do this and this is teach them do not duck do not duck you know because this is this is an easy way out this is merciful for the opponent if they duck imagine if they duck then i can just do boom you know what i mean boom or that that may be a little too slow but i can just do this bam you know what i mean uh huh 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 you know what i mean mix those in after that but if they interrupt you like i said because they can interrupt all that with the jab then just do that boom 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 or huh sidestep you know sidestep but yeah so when you mix this this plus a mix up or that then that teaches them not to duck and then eventually as the match goes on they're not going to duck they're going to look for what you're going to do and then all all of this conditioning was just to make them stand it's just to make this this second hit impact it's just to make them standing after this point you know then once you have them there then you're good like i said because there's just so many things you can do after this i can heavily delay that i can do that and like i said it's plus five see that plus five and after I'm getting after after because this in the heat of the battle, this is two media hits right in the heat of the battle, and so they've gotten hit by two standing hits. So they're actually not going to be looking to duck. Typically, they're going to be a standing guard, right? So they're going to be standing guard, and they're going to be one of the they're going to be on their toes and then standing guard because they haven't got hit by low all these two hits, right? So that's when you huh 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 you know and then at that point dude they're like so much damage is collecting after you've conditioned them with all the things i've talked about to where you can easily steal rounds you know so like i said bam bam because they're gonna be on the defense on plus five and then i can just do anything boom huh 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 and like i said you've done this so much you haven't done the load the whole time then you can just get them with so many lows, like, huh, huh, bam, 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 bam. That's my typical string that I do. And it works so well because standing, so they're, look, they're thinking you're gonna continue to, continue to do standing moves. And then bam, bam, now they're looking low. And so this is when I hit them with the down four, one, one, three. They're look, now they're thinking, okay, he's this guy likes to go low. So bam, bam, and after that second hit, they're gonna stand back up because they're thinking, okay, now he's doing the high. And then that's why I hit him with this low. Because a lot of times they get frustrated and they try to attack after this. They think the string is over. Because they've because think about it, they've seen me do this. Bam, right? So once they see that again, once they see that again, they think there's gonna be a pause, and then I'm gonna do it again. So if I go, huh, huh. Boom, 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 boom. There's no pause, right? And so it's just a continuous stream. They didn't expect that. They thought like they can interrupt after me entering Savage Stance. And then that always ends up becoming the counter hit. So then it becomes, you know, the whole boom. And then you just get them anything after that. So um, I know this video is pretty long, talked a lot. But uh, yeah, just think about that. Just try and condition them not to duck and i didn't even talk about this move which is very good uh to hit on standing opponents and the only bad thing about it is it's high so if you've been conditioning them conditioning them the whole time to stand and not duck then boom i can get that and i'm plus five on hit or on block right or actually plus six on hit plus five on block and then i can just continue my onslaught see what i'm saying and even even though people may know that this is plus on hit, this is plus on block. Like during the heat of the battle, it comes out so uh, unassuming, you know. Boom! Then you can easily launch somebody from this, you know. Boom! You know. You should just do that, right? 
But yeah, like I said, during the heat of the battle, you're definitely gonna catch somebody attacking after this. But all of this is predicated on how well can you get the opponent, or how often can you get the opponent to stand and respect your offense. So, I think that's one of the strategies you should use in terms of playing with Gale. Are things to keep in mind is when you first start the match, even if you, because a lot of times I use the first match, the first round as like a test run just to see how the how the opponent plays defensively. What's his tendencies? Does he like to sidestep me? Uh, you know, does he like to duck a lot? Does he like to interrupt me a lot? Is he very offensive and aggressive? You know, just to kind of take notes, you know, and study the opponent. A lot of times just use that first round or first match or first two matches to just study that stuff, you know? But then once you have the data, then just act on that. And just however they're playing, just condition them and engineer them to stand and respect your offense. And don't even go for like big lows like this, right? Don't even go for big stuff. Uh, or big unsafe things, you know? Or like this, right? Don't even go for that stuff. Just do, just do this. Just do that. Sometimes I even mix it in this. That's pretty good moves. Plus four, plus four on hit. It's a mid. Uh, you get a free combo. It's forty-eight damage. That's very damaging. Free combo. Or sometimes I'll even do a single thing of that and just just see, see the success of this. And if they still keep ducking. Then sometimes I'll go bam, bam, because it's, it's natural, right? So, yeah, like I said, I'll mix that in, mix that in, uh, mix this in. Just to, like I said, just to keep them standing. So, my real offense begins with that. That's my real offense begins. So, yeah, man. Boom, 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 boom. Just to get them up, right? Yeah, man. So, that's all I want to say. Just take that and, and try and apply that in game, so. And I plan on making more videos on Miguel. You know, as you guys know, I've been hiatus <laughs> in between videos, you know. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, if you've been paying attention to my videos, a lot of my research tutorials, my combo videos, stuff like that, it's just like, these things take a long time to make. At the level, at the quality I like to do it at, it takes a very long time to make. A lot of research goes into combos, into techniques, into what works, recording. You know, it takes a very long time. So, you know, for me, it's just kind of a hobby, right? It's just like a hobby for me. I'm not getting paid for anything. I have real life, I have real life obligations. So, a lot of times those get in the way and I can't do Miguel videos, you know? Because for me, it's just the love of the character, honestly. Uh, I've loved this character since Tekken 6. This is my first game I've actually made content for him. But yeah. But now I'm going to try to make more videos, be more consistent. And like this video, make kind of smaller videos. Or videos that's not... That's not... Um, you know, super um, well edited. Not well edited, but it's not like... Where the, you know, how I typically do it, where the music is synchronized, you have the intro, you have the letters and all the, all the um, text, like very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Composed videos. You know, just more smaller things on some notes about this character, stuff like that, so I can be more consistent. Because this is a lot more uh, time effective, you know? So, but yeah, man, I'll have my... Um, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I'll have that linked under in the description. Comment if you have any questions, you know. And that's that's all I gotta say.